Hello, good day friend. Today we'll talk on C sharp task dot delay method. So let's start. Task dot delay method is used to pause the program flow. It's non-blocking. It creates a new task. So all the methods of a task is available for use. And we should use await with the task dot delay to get the effect. So let us see task.delay in action. I am in Visual Studio console application. So let me simulate the execution of uh, steps. So this is step one. And let's see. Let me take another step, step two. And say we want the step two to happen after a specific amount of time the step what happened so if I run it you see step 1 and step 2 happen in one go so if we would like to have some delay introduced in between so you can do task.delay and then say I want it to uh, wait for 2 milliseconds Two second so if you see the signature it takes millisecond I can show it to you milliseconds delay it can take in time span it can take millisecond as well as cancellation token and then it can take time span and cancellation, cancellation token as well the return uh, type of delay method is a task so you have all, a, all the methods available so if I take it and then it's a task so you have all the methods available of a task available so you see so i can i can check whether it's completed or not async state creation options i can put exception id all those things now if i run it see it didn't wait the step 2 happened as soon as step 1 happened the reason because I didn't put await in front of uh, task.delay now as soon as I put await it was uh, throwing it it's showing compiler error now, if you see the error it's void because it cannot be put into a task now if I run it step 1 happened and then step 2 so in non blocking manner we executed the uh, task now I can show you one more thing to you that if I want to check the completion status of the task t1 I'm not using a bit now and let's see what is the completion status so if I run it see false and then step 2 happened as soon as step 1 happened now I wanted to put uh, here okay remember t1 is a task so all the features of a task available with you to, to use now if I run it it's waiting see it completed came true so that is uh, uh, like minor things about task or delay which may help you to write a better program thank you for watching this